here's the, the hardest part of this project. been to a dentist. It smells just like that. Well hello. Welcome to the Tiny Trailer Workshop. What we got here today is a piece of, well, we've got two pieces of white-tailed deer antler. And what I've done is I've drilled some holes in the ends of both of them um, and I'm going to try and do a little off-center turning and I'm going to try and make these into a pair of earrings. Um, not sure how well it's going to work. This is this end is just the point is just in the in the live center here so better tighten that up. Um, Let's see what we can do. Alrighty, hang on. I don't think, but there should be some. change of plans. They're no longer going to be offset. Let's 
so I still have a little bit of work to do on this to get it down to proper size. Just take that off. Now I'm gonna have to get that off. So let's see what we can do. Now let's uh, let's do the other one first. Before we do any more of that, we'll do this one. This time we'll just go right from the get-go instead of screwing over the other parts. Shows you, doesn't it? Just shows you. Well, that stopped at a about the same spot. So I'll have to take this off and this, and then we'll uh, use the drill press with the sanding pad on it to finish it off. I think we're going to look okay. Get the, uh, let's see, yeah, fairly close, not exact, but they're on opposite sides of the head, so it's okay. <laughs> Back in a bit. I guess it would be best if I put a sanding pad on there. Um. That's the hardest part, making sure you know where they land. I'm just going to run this over the fence saw and... Uh, Well, I haven't done the put together from this angle before, so let's give it a shot. That has to go in there, but hey, we don't want it that long because the hole is only that long. How long is the hole? The hole is that long, so we need to leave that much on there. There we are. And just a little more. So, that's far. I wonder if they need to pick up the other one. Uh, that looks about right there anyway. Pick up the other one here. Go. Mm -hmm. 
to be just a tad shorter. I think I'll pick it up if it's much shorter. A tad. do is I'm going to put a drop, just a drop, and it's off camera so nobody can tell. Let's see a glue on there. That's good. Thing I didn't tell her what she was getting for her birthday because it wouldn't have been what I thought it was going to be. Hi there. Well, this didn't turn out quite the way I had expected it to, but then again, there's lots of things that don't go the way you expect them in life. Um, but the uh, the antler here you know, is kind of soft in the middle and as a result, when you start spinning it, it uh, just twisted itself from together. I do like the antler, though. It's it's uh, it's a nice thing to work with. It's uh, it's hard, um, but not so hard that it's difficult to work. Um, and uh, and it comes up with a nice shine too. Well, my little buddy Cedric has been jumping up and down, I'm trying to get me to tell you all about his uh, his new link. Um, I think he's rushing things a little bit, but uh, what can you say to a cedar bear? His, the link's coming up after this. Another thing that I wanted to pass along was, uh, was a new fellow that I've seen videos from. His name is Jason Gossett. And, uh, and he has a uh, uh, a channel at uh, at GP Woodworks, and uh, he does some very interesting things. Um, I think that uh, we're going to see a lot of good stuff from him in the future, uh, and I think he's he's probably a pretty brave guy too. I mean, like his his last project, he made a a, a scratching post. For his wife. Anyhow, <laughs> Jason's going to have a, a good future, I think. So check him out. Other than that, I'll talk to you next time. I hope to see you all back there next time. And, uh, and I want to thank you all for watching. And bye for now. Thank you.